Hey guys, and welcome back to VAD Resellers. I'm Natalie and I'm a full-time reseller. And today's video is a two-part video where in the first half, my husband and I go thrifting at Goodwill to find stuff for cheap that we can flip for high online and some of the items already sold. So definitely stay tuned for that. And then in the next part, I'll be doing the what sold part of the video where I go over the majority of our sales from the past few days. So it's a little bit of thrifting and a little bit of the what sold. So it's the best of both worlds. So let's get into the video. All right, let's see what we can find at Goodwill. <laughs> In the jacket section, I spotted this sleeve. I'm like, hmm, what is this? And I go, no way. It's a Ferrari jacket. How did that even end up here? I don't ask questions, but this one was fresh. Got the little Ferrari hit on the zipper. It's a little mesh line on the inside. And it was just a nice type of racing jacket. Comps wise, they definitely ranged a lot on eBay depending on what type of style it was. Was it more of the racing type? Was it more of a casual type? Couldn't really find this exact one. So I priced it kind of in the middle because I didn't want to end up just sitting with it for forever because it was priced too high and ended up selling it on eBay for $60. Not bad for a $5.99 jacket. All right, I just found a couple of items that I want to show you guys and I'm low-key super excited about the second one. First up, we have a mini bolo brand here. It's called Halibros. Look for this monkey. The t-shirts will not make you rich, but they should sell quickly for around $18. If you can find the flannels, it will probably be your fastest sale of your life. But it's a very nice brand to be on the lookout for and can't really miss the monkey staring at you here. The second find here that I'm stoked about was surprising to me. It was brand new with tags, which was what initially caught my eye. And obviously we recognize this logo. It is Tommy for your mommy. Brand new, it's $185. That's crazy. But this is a beautiful floral maxi dress, size medium, so a good size as well. And dresses here are priced at $5.99. And now that spring and summer is around the corner, I think I could get between $60 and $90 for this one. I actually wish you guys could feel the material because it had weight on it, but still felt lightweight and it was stretchy and it's just a perfect, hello, I'm on vacation type of dress. Just finished up with the pants here. I turn the corner and see this sweet tap out shirt. Let's go into a little bit better light here. So these tap out shirts sell very, very well on eBay. Uh, crazier the print, the better. Let's see if there's a little back hit. And there is, based on this print, I expect us to probably get about no less than 20, but I'll be shooting for around like that $25, $30 range. So, what we got here is some new attacks Brooks, Brooks Brothers Clark pants. I would never even look at these twice unless it was new at tags. Got them for $4.89 here. They sell pretty darn well, close to a 100% sell to rate. I think it was around like 80. Should be able to get about 40 to $60 for these. Easy pickup here. Anything new at tags, for the most part, we tend to look up and you find some good surprises. If you enjoy our content, go ahead and click that thumbs up and subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. And it does really support our channel and we really, really appreciate that. So at first, I got a little bit excited when I saw this one. It's an Under Armour compression shirt with a Marvel superhero on the front, obviously Superman. Some of these, depending on what hero it is and exactly what design it is, can go from $50 to $90. Unfortunately for me, this is not one of them. This is more of the, yeah, maybe you get 20 bucks type of shirt. So definitely not great, but still a good pickup if you can get them for cheap enough. I'm going to show you guys what made my heart skip a beat and then come crashing down. 
boop, boop. Shining in the light, a Ralph Lauren purple label. This is like their luxury line. Uh, I don't know why, but you always wanna look out for that. That means money. And this simple button up shirt would have got us about 50 to $90. However, what is that? Some holes, lovely. This would have been an awesome pickup, but I just wanted to show you guys that label right there. This one is the first one that we've ever found. It's just sad to see. So we all know that sleeves don't lie, right? And what sleeve stands out? Well, none other than this beautiful Nordic design sweater by the one and only LL Bean. I was born and raised in Norway, so the Nordic design is definitely close to heart and something that I grew up with. So when I spotted this sweater, I was so unsure if should I keep this for myself or should I sell it? I still haven't decided what I want to do, but I'm still going to pick this up because even if I don't keep it for myself, this is going to sell between $30 and $45 when fall slash winter comes around. So I'm not really worried about it. Definitely be on the lookout for the vintage LL Bean Nordic sweaters. All right, we are back and now on for the what's all part of the video. As many of you know, I cross list on multiple platforms. We got eBay, Depop, Poshmark, and Mercari. I do use a cross listing tool called List Perfectly, and I've been using it for the past two years, maybe even longer than that. It just makes the whole process a lot easier because you create one listing and then you just copy paste that onto all the other platforms. You do have to fill in a few things, but at the end of the day, it is easier and quicker and just less redundant than if you were to just create a new listing on all of these four platforms over and over and over again for the same product. I do have a link in the description below if you want to check it out, but I would only recommend using a cross-listing feature or a tool such as List Perfectly if you have more than two platforms. Over to the sales that we have for the past few days, I'll go over the majority of them and starting off with eBay. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you know that I like to start it off hot. So we have a pair of David Eden crocodile shoes. I'm not gonna lie, these sat for a while, I would say over six months, but they sold for $95 plus shipping and I paid $6.99 for them. So I will take that. If you find anything crocodile or snake leather, I would definitely look that up, especially in terms of shoes or anything else you can find with them. This is the first time I have ever found a crocodile pair of shoes, so I was super excited about it and happy that they sold for $95, almost $100 plus shipping. Next up from eBay, we have a Nui Tags Polar Rifle Loren Chino Pants. This specific model was called the Andrew Pant. Now, if I find these pre-owned, any type of Chino Pants or Khaki Pants by Polar Rifle Loren, I don't pick them up. It's just not worth it. It's very oversaturated and not a lot of value. But these were Nui Tags. Obviously, Nui Tags is a whole different type of beast and they sold for $50 plus shipping and I paid $4.89 for them. The next one on eBay is a huge bowl brand. It's called Triple Art Design. T-A-D or TAD for short. We were on a road trip and we stopped by a Goodwill and Will found three of these pants. So this is the second one that has sold out of those three pairs and it sold for $70 plus shipping. They look like just your regular type of tactical pants. They do come in slightly different designs and stuff like that, but you have to really look into the little button because it does say triple alt design, at least on the ones that we found, or you got to look in the tag because other than that, they don't stand out, but they are a lot of money. So definitely be on the lookout for TAD, TAD, triple alt design. The next one on eBay is a pair of Noble shoes. Now, I know some people have been saying that they don't have that much luck selling nobles. For us, they are selling. So I don't know, it, it could come down to multiple factors. It could be the photos that you take. It could be your title words that you have. Do you use all of the uh, keywords that you need to be using in the title and the description and also obviously pricing. But every pair of noble shoes that we've ever picked up, any model, have sold. Now, some take longer than others and some are worth more than others, but at the end of the day, they're all good pickups with a decent 
profitable margin. These sold for $40 and we picked them up for $6.99 at Goodwill. The last one on eBay is another polo Ralph Lauren. This time it is a polo and two things I want to... <laughs> Two things I want to mention with this item is that it has a big embroidered pony and also the size. So this one is a 2XB. B is for big. If you can find the T, T is for tall. Those are better sizes than just your regular extra large 2XL, triple XL. There's a way smaller market and a higher sell through rate. So that means a quicker sale. So if you find the ones with the big inverted pony instead of just the small one, and it's a big size like this one, that should be an automatic pickup. Moving on to the next platform, we have Mercari. One huge update with Mercari. If you have Mercari, you already know this. If you don't have Mercari, I got news for you. They are the first platform to have zero fees for sellers. Normally, the other platforms have between 10 and 20% fees. So any sale, they that's the platform fee. Mercari has now switched over. It's the only major marketplace that has done this to 0% selling fee. To counter this now heightened price for buyers, buyers are now always eligible to return the item, which was not the case before. Having had this updated version of Mercari with 0% selling fees, we have had a good amount of sales since then and haven't had a return yet. It's only been a couple of weeks since this happened, so we'll see, but so far, so good. I am loving the 0% fees because when it says, okay, you sold it for $49, guess what you get? $49. And first up on Mercari, we have another huge bolo. Bolo as in these are worth a good amount of money, but the sell through rate isn't the best. So it might sit for a while. This pair of jeans, I think sat for a couple of months or maybe a few months and it's called PRPS. And these are a type of more streetwear type of brand. They have a lot of distressed ripped type of designs. As you can see, this one is also ripped and they sold for $50 or $49 plus shipping. The next sale from Mercari is a vintage t-shirt with Sea Dogs graphic on the front. Now the brand I want you to take note of, it's called Nutmeg Mills. And this is a more sought after tag by a lot of vintage heads, if I can call them that. Nutmeg does a lot of sport teams, Sea Dogs being one of them. So it's definitely a tag you want to be on the lookout for as people will literally search vintage nutmeg t-shirt or nutmeg sea dogs t-shirt for example it's a bolo tag moving on to the next platform we have depop first up is a pair of lululemon pants and this was one of the i think we found a total of five pairs of lululemon pants when we went up to charleston south carolina four out of the five have sold and it sold for 50 dollars plus shipping obviously lululemon pants pick up on site. Lululemon has a size dot as a lot of you know. Now pre-2017, the size dot consists of only the size and then it's just nothing around it, just blank. After 2017, they updated this tag multiple times but essentially there's a lot of letters and numbers around the actual size that's in the middle. There's a style code in there if you look it up on Google, just type in Lululemon and then you do the style code. You can find the exact model on Lululemon Fanatics. And the style code starts with either a W for women or an M for men. And then it's the five next letters slash numbers that you put in. Unfortunately for me, this particular one was pre-2017, so it had nothing on there. It was just a size tag, and I mentioned that in the description. <laughs> so I just said, it, it kind of reminds me of, you know, the commission pants, I think it is, but uh, you know, you tell me. Moving on, we have a vintage Lee Sport sweatshirt with Subway Series champions, New York Yankees. Yankees obviously being one of the biggest sports teams in the US. Any vintage sweatshirt you can find, with that 
obviously a good pickup here. This one sold super quickly as well, $35 plus shipping. I think I accepted an offer for $30. Moving on to the last platform, Poshmark. So starting off, we have a beautiful dress. This is an old listing. I'm thinking two and a half years. I'm just happy to see it gone. The brand was called Jessica McClintock. It was just a beautiful gown dress with the metallic details. And I'd seen another girl on Depop just killing it when it came to these beautiful vintage dresses that I decided to try the same. Uh, well, <laughs> she's got her niche and it's not the same as mine. So uh, just because something works for someone doesn't mean it works for you as well. Moving on to the next one, we have a Harley Davidson mechanic style button up shirt. And this one sold surprisingly fast. Well, the mechanic shirts sell fairly fast but because this one wasn't crazy as in it didn't have a huge you know screaming eagle embroidered on the front or the back or even just a huge embroidered logo on the back it was just a little spell out right here i thought it was going to sit for a few months but it sold within days the next one is of a brand that we typically don't pick up it is american eagle now as you can see this one was new with tags and it was camo and it was cargo so these three factors together could not leave this behind and they sold the same day for $32 plus shipping. We did find an identical pair of pants in just green that haven't sold yet. So camo over blank. Last but not least, we gotta end with Mr. Best Friend, Peter Millar. This specific model did not have the greatest comps when you looked up the style code and it was also the wicking one. I was very surprised when I looked up the comps on eBay. I'm like, oi, I, I thought these were automatic. And the, the thing is, for us, they are automatic pickups because just Peter Millar pants, the golf pants, sell so good on Poshmark. No matter what the style is, no matter what exactly model it is, they just all sell. Some take longer, obviously, but for the most part, they will all sell within a couple of months. For around $30. Now, this one sold for $35 plus shipping. But alright guys, that sums up the majority of our sales from the past three days. Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the little dub dub with the thrift and the whatsoever, little best of both worlds. As always, don't forget to leave that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one.